right, so this video is about single whip. We're gonna, we're gonna go over, um, introduce the movement uh, or posture, single whip. This is, for those of you who are just tuning in and, and just came across this video, these are kind of accessory videos or follow-up videos to my Zoom class, my Zoom Tai Chi class, um, where we're going over uh, your learning, uh, Grandmaster William C.C. C. Chen's 60 movements, which is a yang style short form. And so this posture of movement is called single whip. Um, let's dive right into it. If you're tuning in and if you're interested in joining the class, it is a series, so it starts at the beginning and it ends at a specific time. If you want to be included on, in the next series, please feel free to reach out to me um, either via YouTube or however you came across this. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's dive in. So I'm going to show you the posture, show it from a, a couple of different angles, then we'll do it with the footwork, and then we'll add the hands to it. So here is the posture, and this is, again, I'm going to show it from behind, because I often teach the class from this perspective, because it's just easier often to follow. So here is the posture, right? So it's left in front, right behind, right soft, bend, soft bend in ankles, knees, hips, tailbone drops down, crown of the head releases up towards the sky. The left arm is going to be in front, soft in the left shoulder, rounded through that left shoulder, soft in the elbow, reaching out through the tips of the fingers. And the hands are soft, right? We're not rigid here, reaching through the fingers. Uh, um, Grandmaster Chen's teacher, Professor Chen Manqing, would say ladies, uh, like a, um, fair maiden or fair lady hands, right? So it's got this kind of neutral position where fingers are nice and soft. The right hand is out to the side, right? And notice that the elbow is a little bit in front of the shoulders, kind of the way the lining is kind of hard to tell, but the elbow is a little bit in front of the shoulders, right? And this is just a stronger position. You can even see if I bring that hand back, often we'll think you have like a pec, a pec stretch, stressing out your chest. It puts that shoulder joint in a, not an optimal position. Great for a stretch, but not a great position for that, not a strong position for that shoulder joint to be in. But if we let that elbow kind of, let that arm internally rotate a little bit, let that elbow come in front, then I got a much stronger position. So again, left palm facing out, soft in the fingertips, right arm, right elbows just in front of that right shoulder. Again, we're gonna release ankles, knees, hips. All right, so again, from this perspective, all right, here we are. This is our posture. Now, how do we get there? Let's start from ward off right. And again, we're gonna go just the footwork and then we'll add the hands to it. So from ward off right, right foot's in front, left foot's behind, soft in the back, left knee, right? Right foot, 70, 80% of the weight, left leg, 20 to 30%, right? So this is the posture. Again, we're just gonna go with the footwork. One, we shift back into that left foot. Two, we turn that right foot in. Three, we shift that, shift into that right foot, pick up that left heel, pivot out on that right ball toe. Take a step, back into the left. Shift your weight into that left foot, turn that right foot in. Soften, ankles, knees, hips. Let's do that much again. All right, so again, from that ward off right position, one, Shift to the left, two, pivot to the right, three, shift into the right, pick up that left heel, pivot out on that left ball toe, take that step back into the left, shift into the left, turn that right foot in, soften ankles, knees, hips. Now notice the key is, and again, let me see if I can get a little bit better angle on my feet. If I want to bring, if I want to make that step, I want to bring my hips and, sh hips and chest around fully. I want to shift, I want to bring them around forward. So I want my hips, my shoulders to be pointing in the same direct, in, in, in that same direction. Because if I'm over here, it's, I'm going to have a hard time stepping and I'm going to start kind of stretching this whole line. I don't want to do that. I want to make this efficient and easy. So I want to pivot, bring everything around, then make that step. It's a lot easier to make. And again, we're pivoting the hips and shoulders around. So you're really pivoting from that hip joint. All right, let's add the hands to this. So, ward off right, again, 70 80% of the weight's on the front, 20 to 30% on the back, left elbow drops, left palm below the, below the or, or behind that right palm, again, imagine like you're carrying a beach ball across the sand, right, across the beach, left elbow drops, left palm's in front. One, we're gonna turn to the right, two, shift the weight back, three, roll the hands down and away, palms float up, 
Shift the weight forward, press the palms together. Shift the weight back, open up the hands. Shift the weight forward, push that big wave of water. Shift the weight back, and then here's our new part. We're gonna extend the arm. Turn that right foot in. And as we do, right, we're bringing those straight arms around. Now we're gonna shift our weight into that right foot, and as we do, we're gonna pick up that left heel, so we're softening that left knee, weight's on that right leg, and we're gonna bring this left palm underneath the right. This is what I tell everybody, put, that's like you're putting salt in, in your palm, the pinch of salt in your palm. Now, as we pivot out on that left ball toe, we're gonna take that pinch of salt and put it in a pot, reaching over the stove, up into the right. From here, we're gonna take a step back into the left, shift your weight into that left foot, that left palm's gonna come up and it's gonna face you. And we're gonna turn that right foot in on the heel and as we do, we're gonna bring that arm around at the same time. Let's do that again. And let's actually just take it from push, right? So we push that big wave of water. We're gonna one, straighten the arms as we shift the weight back. Two, turn that right foot in, bring the hands around, bring the arms around. Three. Shift your weight into that right foot. We'll do a pinch of salt in your palm. Four, we're gonna pivot out on that left ball toe and then we're gonna take that pinch of salt and we're gonna reach across the stove and we're gonna put that pinch of salt in a pot across the stove. Take a step back into the left. Shift your weight into that left foot. We're gonna bring that left palm up. It's gonna face you. We're gonna turn that right foot in as we turn the palm over and we bring the arm around. Let's do that much again from that push. All right, push that big wave of water. We're going to one, shift, straighten the arms. Two, pivot around, bring the arms around. Three, shift into that right foot, pinch of salt in the palm. Four, turn out, pinch of salt in the pot. Five, take a step back into your left. Six, shift into the left. The left palm comes up and then turn that right foot in as we bring the arm around and we turn the palm over. All right, let's take it back a little further. Again, we'll take it back from ward off right. Ward off right, one, turn to the right. Two, shift the weight back, left palm below the right elbow. Three, sweep the arms down and away. Palms up, shift the weight forward and press. Shift the weight back, open up the arms, shift the weight forward and push. Shift the weight back, extend through the arms, turn in, bring the arms around. Shift into the right, pinch of salt in the palm. Extend and open up. Take that step back into your left. Shift into your left. The left palm comes up. We turn that right foot in on the heel as we bring that right arm around. Let's take it from ward off left this time. Ward off left. Right, oops, sorry. <laughs> right arm down, left palm in front. One, we're gonna spin to your left. Palms face each other. Two, pivot back to the right. Three, take a step back into the right. Shift your weight into that right foot. Four, left, drop that left elbow as that right hand comes up. One, turn to your right. Two, shift the weight back. Three, sweep the arms down and away. Palms float up, shift the weight forward, press. Shift the weight back, open up the hands. Shift the weight forward and push. Shift the weight back, extend through the arms. Turn that right foot in. Shift into the right, pinch of salt in the palm. Extend and open up, pinch of salt in the pot. Take a step back to the left, shift it to the left. Left palm comes up and turn that right foot in as you bring that right arm around. Let's do it again. This time we'll take it from the beginning. Again, we'll release ankles, knees. Shift to the right, step to the left. Shift to the left, turn to the right. Release, ankles, knees, hips. Inhale, reaching forward and out. Exhale, pull those fingers back to you. Tailbone drops, elbows drop, fingers rise, finger pain down that wall. Shift into that left foot, pivot out on the heel of the right foot. Place that foot down, shift to the right, step directly forward with the left. Shift into the left, turn that right foot in, right hand down, left hand up, ward off left. Spin to your left, both palms face each other. Spin back to your right, take a step back into your right, shift your weight into that right foot, turn that left foot in, left elbow drops, right hand comes up. One, turn to the right. Two, shift your weight back, left hand below the right elbow. Three, sweep the hands down and away. 
the palms float up, shift the weight forward, press the palms together. Shift the weight back, open up the hands, shift the weight forward and push that big wave of water. Shift the weight back, extend through your arms, turn that right foot in, shift your weight into that right foot, pinch of salt in the palm, take a turn, pinch of salt in the palm. Take a step back into the left, shift your weight into that left foot, bring that left palm up, turn that right foot in as you bring that right arm around. All right, so I'll do it one more time, and again, I'm gonna do it this time actually from the front so you can see me from the front and make any comparisons. I'm not gonna say anything, I'll just cruise right through us. Thanks for watching.